Hey OYP, I'm doing a quick video to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement. So where has the Black Lives Matter movement come from? Without looking backward and acknowledging our horrific past, we can't fully move forward. So here's a timeline of America. Starting in 1526, when the first 100 African slaves were taken to what is now the US. So the oppression of black people has been going on for almost 500 years. To suggest that it's in the past and people should just move on is failing to acknowledge the stain that slavery and segregation has left. The British Empire was the main perpetrator of colonialism and the transatlantic slave trade. Why are there so many stately homes in this country? The slave trade and exploitation of black people funded them. Even after slave trade was abolished in this country, the government took out a huge loan as slave compensation. You'd think the money would go to the freed slaves for their injustices and suffering. Nope. Every penny went to slave owners for compensation for their lost property. You think that was a long time ago? British taxpayers only finished paying that loan off five years ago. Five years! Which means living British citizens have literally been financially supporting one of the world's worst crimes against humanity. People say, oh, it's in America and the UK's much better. Did you know black people are twice as likely to die in police custody as their white counterparts in the UK? In the UK, a black person is less likely to be shot dead on the streets than their counterpart in America, but more likely to be detained with brute force and left to die in the hands of neglectful officers. Racism in Britain's justice system is insidious, but deadly. Why is all lives matter a problem? Does black lives matter mean other lives don't? No. As Stormzy said, That's not an e white it's pro-black. If you had five friends and one of them had a cut, you had a plaster, would you give a plaster to every single one of them because all lives matter? No. You'd give it to the one who's got the cut. In the same way that black people are actively being oppressed and being shown that their lives don't matter, so we need to show that black lives do matter. If all lives really mattered, then people wouldn't need to protest about this. So the media and social media are powerful. But remember, just because you don't hear about something doesn't mean it isn't happening. Check your sources. Do not accept everything you see as fact. Ask yourself, what is the whole story? You see clips on the media that are stitched together to show you a story that they want you to see. What happened to make people that angry? Educate yourself. Seek out the full picture. I find certain accounts on Instagram and Twitter great resources for information. There are lows, but I'm just gonna pop on the screen some that I find really helpful and you might do. What kind of world do you want to live in? You're responsible for helping shape the world that you live in. I just wanna point out that it's not the job of black people or people of color to educate you. It's exhausting for black and ethnic minorities to constantly face discrimination and racism and then to have to talk about it can be really traumatic. Educate yourself. Do the work. Watch 13th on Netflix. Selma, when they see us, the hate you give. Read, so you want to talk about race. Stamped from the beginning. White fragility. Listen to George the Poet's podcast. Sign petitions. Vote for people who share your views in elections. There's so many different ways to learn more about this. Too many white people are being silent. By choosing to be silent, you're complicit in allowing the racist people to carry on with their behaviour with no consequences. If you can watch a video of someone being killed because of the colour of their skin and do nothing or say nothing, then the racism, it's not going to go away. It's our responsibility to call out racist things that our family or friends might say. Challenge them. Don't just say, oh yeah, that's how they are. Just because you have black family members or black friends doesn't mean that you can't be racist. I will put my hand up and say that I have not been doing my job well enough to fight racism. I've ignored it, I've brushed it off, I've often spoken up about it, but a lot of times I've thought, prejudice is everywhere, how can one person make a difference? Well, one person can make a huge difference if everyone speaks out together. You may find it uncomfortable or awkward, but I have to tell you to get over it, because people are dying and that is more important. Is this the right way? A lot of people have seen the protests and said, this isn't the right way. Well, to that I say, what is the right way? Black people have already fought racial injustice and white supremacy in every single way possible. They demonstrated. They educated. They fought back. 
They resisted loudly. They fought in silence. They saved hundreds. They spoke to millions. I am here today to acknowledge and represent the African American girls whose stories don't make the front page of every national newspaper. They made sure to do the work locally. They made sure to address the entire world. They explained. And explained. And explained. They made shows. And theatre. They made podcasts. They made music. Blood at the root. Black bodies swinging. guided tours. They made poetry. They wrote articles and chronicles. They used satire. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. They used their anger. They used their silence. They've been fighting this battle in every conceivable way for a really long time. And still today. <laughs> if protests and rioting never worked, then how did the suffragettes get the vote? Black people have literally tried every strategy to stop racism. And so we need to ask, what strategy have white people tried? Some people continue to ignore and deny racism, yet they care so much about coronavirus. Why is that? Because coronavirus affects them directly. Racism does not. This is the perfect time for people to listen and learn. You have to decide what kind of world you want to live in. It is not enough to just not be racist. We have to actively be anti-racist. Peace out.